Okay, hello, welcome back to Land Rover Toolbox Videos. We have a bit of an issue with a TD5 vehicle where oil has gone down through the injector loom, gone through the main engine harness and into the ECM plug. Yes, it actually travels uphill. We've cleaned this out with brake cleaner, so it's a lot cleaner. And this plug in here is the one that you will find oil in. Basically, if you're suspecting any oil in your loom because you have a misfire, it's not running properly, you need to check these pins and the loom plug. It would be also advisable while you're in this area to check your wiring out. Now, this one here has actually two exposed wires. Now, we're wondering actually if this is shorted out at some point. I don't know if you can see the break in the insulation here. This is a bit of a tragedy because the oil has creeped up here and spoilt the ECM unit. Here is the fault from the Bearmark uh, Hawkeye Pro which says top side switch logged as failed pre-injection. A quick Google search to find this out by these words has revealed that this in fact is an ECM failure. Hopefully you will not experience this, however it is worth checking the plug to make sure that the oil has not creeped by capillary action up the engine harness. Right, so we're going to be fitting another injector wiring harness for TD5. This is available from Paddock Spares. If you happen to be new to the TD5, uh, Discovery or the Defender, this is a very a common fault and it needs to be rectified. So you need to check this on your vehicle if you haven't already. Right, so we have the loom plug, which we're going to fit. It's quite an easy job to do. And you'll be needing a rocker cover gasket as well. We've also managed to get a paddock calendar, which is for 2006, which is in limited supply, so I'd rush and get yours now. Right, so the rocker cover needs to come off, and it's held on by bolts. These are 8mm heads, ring of bolts round the rocker cover. You also need to undo the plug, located front right-hand side. This is connection C0521, injector harness to engine harness. You need to remove, on this particular discovery, the earth lead, which I'd advise when you're dealing with the electronic equipment. And on this discovery, which is the early discovery, it is on the left-hand side, driver's side, under the battery cover. You'll see it quite clearly. Defender is in the seat box, and I'm not sure about later discoveries. Right, so securing a screw is out. I can now lift out... Once the earth lead is out of the way, I can lift out the ECM unit to reveal the plugs. Okay, so it's the red plug we are concerned with, so we can push the tab back and pull it off. You probably won't notice until you get the plug off whether there's any oil in here. Now, we've cleaned this already with brake cleaner, and this one here you can also remove, leaving your ECM free to be inspected properly. Okay, so what we're looking for is oil on this plug here. Okay, so the connector is C0158 for reference, and you will find this in the uh, electrical library of your workshop manual, if you have one. This you should be able to find on a PDF. This works in conjunction with your wiring diagram. With the wiring diagram, you can see this connector does the sensor crank position, temperature sensor, engine coolant, throttle, mass air flow, solenoid wastegate, etc, etc. So these are good references for these wires. It makes the job a lot less confusing if you have to repair any of these or trace faults. This part of the engine harness is available from Paddock Spares, which will have the connector C0158 or the red plug. Right, so the loom itself is very easy to remove and replace once you have the rocker cover off. So we have the rocker cover off here, and all we need to do is push out the connector, like so. You can see that's rather oily. I'm not sure that the oil has gone past the seals, however. And then we have the connectors to the injectors. Okay, well these are PD or pump douche injectors. And basically the connectors come off like so, and you have two pins on each. No need to look for corrosion on here. Okay, so you have five connectors in line, you can't get them wrong. So just disconnect them and get the loom out of the way, including the plug. 
If this engine is new to you, I would suggest that you get the injector numbers. A good wipe, and then you should be able to see the numbers clearly. Right, so you have a set of numbers, and they will be different. Don't pay any attention to the sequence of numbers, the large numbers. It's the letters that you are looking for. Note all of these down in sequence from front to back, which will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good diagnostic equipment will tell you the numbers, and if they are wrong, you can then reprogram them so they are right for the cylinder position. Fitting the plug into place, there's no need for a sealant. A little bit of lubricant on the seal is good enough, and then position it so it locks in like so. Fitting the injector plugs is easy. It's just a matter of clicking them into place so they positively fit. And you can't get these wrong. These are in sequence from 1 to 5, like so. Okay, so the bar will sit down, and it's held down by the rocker cover. Okay, gasket is ERR7094G, and this has an anomaly here, which fits on the back of the engine like so, which can be a real pig to sight. On the discovery here, we've taken the back of the engine cover away. There's two bolts holding it onto the back, so we can actually fit this without too much of a struggle. Right, so once it's dropped into place, make sure that this is sitting in correctly before you bolt this down, otherwise it will leak. These ferrules here, be aware that they have a rubber insert, but they also help position the gasket properly. When you nip the bolts down, they will go tight. Right, so just another tip for the pipe. You can use a pair of mole grips on the clip because it is very strong. Okay, once fitted, you can then just let the mole grips off and it will be positioned. Okay, simple. So basically, this plug, if it's had oil in it, make sure it's cleaned out. Plug it in, make sure your ECM is back in position and your battery is connected and it should be okay. However, with this vehicle, we have to go further and get ourselves an, another ECM and get it programmed.